Hey everybody, Jeff Doyle here from Tracking 200. I'm just in the process of setting up my fourth Tacticam Reveal Pro 3.0. Now, these cameras are relatively new to me as well as the app, so if you haven't got these yet and you're interested in getting one, I recommend watching this video. It's just gonna be a quick video on setup, a few tips and tricks to just walk through that process before you get out in the field. So, the first thing we'll do is open this up. box to the side one of the big benefits they taught with this is this new antenna which can just go any which way so the bears can't break it off right that's definitely pretty cool but when it gets to set up first step is to download the app to your phone and then you're gonna pop this open here and that can lock you see that or open this up and there is an eject button or hit eject this is where I first struggled. Now that doesn't come out very easily. It's probably because it's at the bottom and you don't want it to drop out when you're trying to change the battery pack and it's up on a tree. So you really gotta give that a, a stout pull, okay? And now for setup, we've got a code here, which I'm gonna scan my phone. And after that, I'm gonna insert the batteries. But here's my second tip. I've got a bunch of antelope rechargeable batteries. I'm gonna put lithium in here, but I don't wanna drain my lithium batteries when I'm going through the setup process. So I recommend doing this with uh, some other batteries. So let's go ahead with that next step. So get the reveal app open here. And if it's the first time, you do need to purchase a plan before you can add a camera. So I'm currently operating on the basic plan it's five dollar per month plan for each camera and let's see if you if you hit the little three buttons up here three lines you go to add a camera so i'm going to do add a camera starter that's the five dollar plan hit continue it's reveal 3.0 now i'm going to scan it Okay, now it's gonna tell me to walk through installing the batteries. So I'm gonna put the battery pack in. Got that there. Goes in nicely. See the green light comes on. And this is optional whether or not you need to put in an SD card. I don't have an SD card in there. It's got eight gigabyte of memory already. I'm gonna hit continue. Then it says, turn your camera on. So the camera is on. All right. And it's searching for GPS. I can see it already has, you can see that on there, but it already has uh, three, four bars of signal and it's showing the batteries are at about three fifths. We've got to add a name and a location. Okay, so this next step where it's gonna take a minute to activate, this usually goes pretty quick. This takes maybe it says it could take about a minute. That's what I've seen uh, in the past as well. But the step after this is one that takes a good 15 minutes, I found. Probably depends where you are. And I just set the camera up with the antenna up. I leave it right here on the deck, leave it for a good 15, 20 minutes. And what I found is that is if you press this power button just once, it's gonna take a picture of you. And that's what we want. We want this to actually take a picture, send it to us so we know it's all working. Everything's all connected up and then you're gonna get that picture on your phone. So we're gonna give that a minute. Make sure that this is out and clear. I don't have great reception here. Set that up on the deck and all right, success. There we go. And you can see here it says pending check-in on the camera. So we do want this to check in, we want to be successful like you can see the other three. This should allow me to update the firmware now. So if I hit right, go over to more, go down, you can see that there is a firmware upgrade right there. So I'm gonna hit the enter button, okay? Failed to connect. 
We'll give that a little bit more time. Querying, there he goes, downloading. And that's pretty quick. It's already at 40%, 50%. This takes but just a few moments, and then you've got your firmware updated using the energy from those rechargeable batteries and not your expensive lithium one, lithiums, so you can keep this out in the field just that much longer. Now it's gonna reboot to upgrade, and I am going to set this camera out here for 15, 20 minutes, and then eventually I'll receive my voter check-in, so I'll check back in with you then. All right, so it took about seven minutes for the photos to start coming through. And as you see, I've got a bunch of those from the setup here. So that camera is good to go, as well as the other ones. I'm looking forward to getting these cameras out in the field. It's gonna be a big step change in terms of changing over to, to the Tacticam platform. You can pull in really high quality photos, you got video. And so I'll be able to share those as the season goes on. Um, speaking of the content, I've got some great stuff coming out. We've got some some really, really, really exciting videos. Uh, placed third at the Hunt Stock Film Festival. You're gonna love that tracking footage. It's a great film. I've got a moose hunt. My dad's got one coming out. I've got some other content creators that I'm working with that are gonna be able to share some content. So it's an exciting season coming up. You're gonna see a lot more of me and I appreciate you tuning in. Track never ends. The track never ends. For more Trackin' 200, join the Trackin' 200 Facebook group. You can also follow The Mountain Hunter on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos come out. For official Trackin' 200 merchandise, you can find the store link in the video description.